plus class abilities that used to incentive. Okay, stop. No. In. <laughs> yeah. No. There. Is he gonna cry? You gonna bring up attribute points next? Like, dog, you cannot. There, there. Listen, I, I have played a lot of MMOs over my years of playing games on computers, right? I have never liked cross class systems because all this does, and this is coming from someone that likes grinding in games. By the way, all this is going to do is create an unnecessary grind for a class that you're never going to play again when you get the thing that you want from it, unless there is another thing that is crucial to the class you want to play being operational. Come on. Like, 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 e even in PSO2, right? I didn't really like the cross class thing because it's like, damn, I have to play this class that I really don't want to fucking play to get this thing to make the thing I want to play better. I don't like that. I did not like that. So in Final Fantasy 14 specifically, that I, I didn't even play a Realm Reborn, but talking to people who did play Realm Reborns, running the when the cross class thing was in there, most people hated it because because like like what was the the main complaint I saw against it was like Dark Knight, bro, bro. If you did not level the other classes, Dark Knight was literally unplayable. You had no mitigation. You had nothing to 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 um uh, increase your, your your parry rate, which was very 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 needed on Dark Knight. It was literally unplayable. And then, and then when they got rid of the cross class system, all of a sudden there was a an extreme spike in people who played Dark Knight because it was like, oh my god, I can actually be a tank now. This cross class shit was not it, dog. And again. I started playing in patch 4.3 where this did not exist. Had I played in the 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 cross class system era in a realm born in heaven's word, I don't know gang. Sash. Hey. Hey, I don't know. I probably would have dropped that hole. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Anyway, back to this bullshit. Tobias trying other jobs by leveling them up to borrow a skill for your main job are now just auto unlock role abilities. Shut up. Why is this a problem? I mean, I, I listen, I already kind of sort of addressed this before I had to step away for a moment. If I'm going to play a tank, I want to play a tank and do tank things. I don't want to play a tank and then level a healer that I'm not going to play so I can be a tank. It's why like, like, I don't have white mage capped, and I was leveling for the fun of it, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not actually gonna play white mage. So I stopped, right? If if I needed to have white mage at 90 in order to, I don't know, properly play red mage, like, nah, bro, I wouldn't do it. It's like, it's like how, how in PSO2, right? For every single class, original PSO2, for every single class, that you had like full on level cap, your character as a whole got like hard stat, hard permanent stat increases, might I add. And then that became a point of contention because there were the people, there were the, the, the raiders in that game that got their panties and their balls in a bunch because, oh, someone doesn't have every single thing in the game level capped and they're missing out on like five points in striking attack i don't want to raid with you like no that shit is unnecessary if i don't have to cap something because i'm not going to play it i'm not going to do it so why is a tank getting things that allows them to tank and tank well a problem i don't understand attribute points that added a this it gets better. There it is. There it is. There you go. There is no way this nigga is saying that attribute points were good. Oh my god, bro. Listen. Just listen. Just listen. What you mean? Oh god. All right. Another layer of growth while leveling your character by giving That's you extra nice stats are gone. I mean, Jesus Christ! Source. Every my expansion is just I another round of wait and see what they delete this time. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, bro. From the bottom of my heart, shut the fuck up, bro. 
There is no way. Listen, my first MMO was an attribute point game. And guess what? Guess what, right? If I want to play a tank, guess where all my points are going? Vitality. Wisdom. So I don't die from physical hits and magical hits, right? If I want to play a healer, guess where literally all of my points are going? Wisdom. Am I going to have health? No. Am I going to have crit? Not physical, I'll have magic crit. Am I, am I going to dodge any attack ever? No. But am I going to deal damage? No. If I'm going to play a rogue class or a thief, guess where all of my points are going? Dexterity. So I always crit and I never get hit by anything that isn't magic, bro. There, bro, it's the same concept in this. If you're playing a healer in an MMO, and you have attribute points, guess where by default all of your points are going so that you can heal better? The stat that increases healing power. What sense would it make to play a class that does magic things and put points into strength? What sense does that make? If I'm going to play a tank and I need to be able to live, why would I put points into intelligence when a tank does not deal magic damage? So you can be an intelligent tank, duh. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> this is, th bro, bro, this isn't Luna. I'm not making a Templar. <laughs> yeah, it's what? just like... Dog, like, oh my god, there's <laughs> no way. There's really no way, off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dog! Oh. Damn, I didn't think it pissed you off this hard. Oh my god. Cause ah! This cop is common sense, bro. I I can guarantee you, without a shadow of a doubt, that if we, if that if, that the both of us would log in right now and go into the novice network and ask people that played when attribute points were a thing, was the game better or worse because of attribute points? I guarantee you, everybody would say the game was worse with attribute points because because that those those were the days where literally having a single point of HP could cost you a run. If if there was an attack that hit you for seven thousand and one HP and you had seven thousand, guess what? You're dying. You're not going to survive that. If there was a heal check mechanic. And both your healers had like, I don't know, five points less into into mind that affected healing power. Guess what? You're not meeting the heal check, dude. Attribute points are so ass backwards that they literally don't make things any better. Right, because yeah, sure, you can do the whole. Oh, I'm gonna put a couple points over here. I'm gonna put a couple points over here to min max. Guess what? If there's something that requires you to have a set amount of points to do the thing, you're not doing the thing. Plain and simple, bro. It's it it it's just like how how the old materia used to be: vitality plus whatever, intelligence plus whatever, dexterity plus whatever, strength plus whatever, bro. Because back then, it was so crucial to meld stat-specific materia, not substat, stat-specific stuff, in order to do content. So, this dude sitting up here and genuinely saying with his whole chest for an era of a game that he did not play, by the way, saying with his whole chest, he's upset. That attribute points and cross class stuff is gone has me have one singular thought. He does not give a single solitary fuck about what he's been saying over the 10 minutes of this video. He does not care because th there's no in a game like this where where the difference between being fully melded in crit or not is a massive difference in your overall DPS, bro, come on, dog. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way.